O mighty Father. The traditional seafarer's oath with the champagne poured overboard as Australia and Papua New Guinea christen a new patrol boat. Well, thank you very much. Good one. Thank you. The Mini Gulai, a gift from the Australian government. It will be used to spearhead cross-border operations targeting transnational crime in the Torres Strait. A safe PRG is a safer Australia, a safer leader. And that is our mutual interest and as leaders today. Uh, we must construct a safe future. PNG is the Australian Federal Police's largest international partner. An existing security deal between Canberra and Port Moresby was expanded last December. We have very, very long-standing ties, a very long-standing relationship between our two national police forces. We are building and continuing to build on that relationship. For months, Australian diplomats in Port Moresby have been jostling for influence amid attempts by China to gain ground here. Papua New Guinea's Foreign Minister says similar security offers by China aren't being considered. Thank you so much. Thank you. China's Foreign Minister visited Moresby in April to deepen economic ties. It wanted more agreements but didn't get them. And uh, we have chosen not to entertain that at all. We've made that very, very clear. Uh, we need to now um, strengthen our partnership with Australia, uh, who is our traditional partner. But China's fight for influence is still likely to continue. The country seeks closer ties not only here in Papua New Guinea, but with Australia's traditional partners right around the Pacific. In the wake of the devastating landslide in PNG's highlands, aid will be high on the agenda when the Allies kick off major talks tomorrow. Marion Farr, ABC News, Port Moresby.